What's up, guys? It's Anthony from AB Fitness Center, where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, and get stronger. <laughs> you can't really see that. There you go. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, today we're going to be talking about high protein breakfast options. A lot of people have struggle with what to eat for breakfast. I've talked about this numerous times um, on what I prefer to have for breakfast. Literally, my breakfast every day, two scoops of protein. I make it a shaker cup the night before. I mix it with some water, shake it up, put it on my nightstand, get up in the morning, take the shake, down the shake, and then I go about my day. That's what I do. It's very simple because like the morning, I just have no time. I don't have no time to sit down, eat. It's just impossible. So I just do that every day. I literally do that all the time, whether I'm vacation, doesn't matter. It's become part of my life now. So that's how I get my high protein breakfast in every day. But a lot of people struggle with this. So today I'm going to let you in on the inside again and show you a post that one of our newest members had written about getting in your, your protein intake in the morning. So I'll share my screen here. Well, wait, if before I get started, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. This way you never miss a beat and you get real life, appliable fitness information without the fluff. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. This way you let me know that I'm doing a good job. So share my screen here. All right. So this is inside our private members group. So this is Heather. Uh, let's move this. There you go. So this is Heather. She says, hi, everyone. Brand new here. Just wondering if some of you can share a few lunch or breakfast meals that are semi-quick, but on the plan, maybe there's some keys, key things I should have in my fridge at all times. Looking to set myself up for success. Or any advice appreciated. So a lot of people jumped in this and uh, we'll cover this and I'm going to add my commentary as well. I mean, I just told you my high protein breakfast that I usually go to. Um, so again, someone else shared a ready to drink shake. I'm not a big fan of these. I rather just use protein powder. I think it's much more easier. Every single time I have these, um, I gain weight from it every single time. It's just no matter what it is. I think that a lot of the times uh, they lie about the label and that's just what happens every time I have them. That's what happens. So I just stay away from them. Uh, I just rather just get protein powder in the other way. Um, Cause I do think that these always taste a lot better than shakes that are made. And there's a reason for that. So. That's just my opinion. Take it for what it is. Um, all right. So welcome. I do like to have a protein shake with Greek yogurt in the morning. I'm a teacher and get it in early. So this is perfect for me. So again, same thing. So she does it other way. So you could take Greek yogurt. You could add a scoop of protein into the Greek yogurt, mix it, and it kind of flavors the Greek yogurt. So if you use like a vanilla whey protein powder and you mix it with an Oikos yogurt, It'll just add to the flavor of that. That's a really good option too. Um, or you can even make it as a shake. So literally take water in a blender, add the, um, the Greek yogurt, add the protein powder. Uh, you can put some other things in it, blend it up, and you have a nice smoothie for breakfast. So that may be another cool option too. Um, I use whey protein powder, mix it with water, or sometimes almond milk. All right. So Stephanie says, Jarlsberg Light Swiss. On whole wheat bread uh, with little tomatoes on top, I eat that for breakfast or as a snack. I love, so Jarlsberg Light Swiss. If you guys haven't heard of that, you can get it in your deli calendar on most stores. It is so, so good. So I think in each um, ounce is seven grams of protein, uh, very minimal fat. I think it's less than three grams of fat. So Jawsburg Light Swiss is where it's at. Some one of my old clients turned me on to it and I absolutely love it. I have it every day. But that's a really good one too for those of you who don't like um I mean, you're not a meat person and you you'll eat cheeses or if you're a cheese person that's great. You can even mix the Jawsburg Light with some egg whites or something like that. You always feel free to mix and match different protein sources on there to help you. All right, so that's a great idea. I like that one. So Phil says, if you're not in a hurry, egg whites with salsa and a touch of pecorino, pecorino romano cheese, low in calorie, very high in protein. Uh, that sounds really good. I never actually put um, romano cheese on it. That sounds really good, actually. But yeah, egg whites are such, they're so clutch, such an easy way to get protein in. I usually buy the little containers of protein, uh, protein of egg whites. And each of those little containers of protein is 50 grams of protein. So if I'm short on protein, I just take a little one of those out. I'll make the whole thing. And then I have a big filling meal with 50 grams of protein. And egg whites are like, 
like I said, 50 grams of protein is a lot from egg whites. It's a big, big amount of egg whites. So that's always a good way too, and it keeps you fuller. Um, Santino says, thanks for sharing. I did five egg whites, one whole egg, salsa, substituted the pecorano with a uh, slice of Alpine Lace Swiss, 47 grams of protein and nine grams of fat. So yeah, good. The Alpine Lace Swiss is not Jawsburg though. It's different. So the Jawsburg Light Swiss is way better than the Alpine. So even he could have bumped that up. I should probably comment that to him to use the uh, use Jawsburg <laughs> Light Swiss next time. Higher in protein and lower in fat. There you go. All right, so next. So Dana says boar's head honey turkey, well, boar's head turkey or chicken cold cuts are fridge staple. I agree with that 100%. Dana has had so much success with us. I mean, she's a mom of two, super busy, and she's completely ripped. So anything she says is, is gold. So I agree with her 100% on that. You got to have cold cuts in the fridge. One of my clients taught me this too. This was a really good idea. So what she would do is she normally would have four ounces of cold cuts at a time. So when she goes to the deli counter to get them to slice it, she tells them to put a piece of like the paper, that parchment paper, whatever, in between each four ounces. So this way, all she has to do is pull out a four ounce piece, like pull out the whole paper and that's it. She doesn't have to measure it. So that's another smart idea. But I agree. 100% cold cuts are staple for the fridge. Cold cuts are really good. They keep you fuller. They're great when dieting. So I love cold cuts. Fat-free Greek yogurt, Jawsburg Light Swiss. Again, fat-free uh, whipped cream. Yeah, it's good too. Egg whites in a carton. Can't believe it's not butter spray. One protein bars, powdered peanut butter, unsweetened almond milk, and AD Fitness Whey. 100%. Like I said, she's our most successful client. And it's not shocking that everything I've said already, she's said as well. So that there it goes to show you. But yeah, that's 100%. I agree with that. Uh, let's see what she says. Thank you so much. I ordered the, pea, the powdered peanut butter and always a boy's head turkey in the fridge and not a huge almond milk. I drink organic 1%. Um, I'll use a pinch of my coffee. Fat-free milk is definitely next best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. All right, so uh, Megan says, welcome to egg white muffins with ham and peppers. You can make them in the beginning of the week and heat them up 30 seconds in the microwave. I touched on this the last um, video I did like this, but yeah, these are really cool. They're equivalent to the Starbucks egg white bites. Um, I did a video on that, so you can watch that video. It's right here, but basically very simple. Put a couple of egg whites in a muffin tin, uh, flavor it up however you want. You can use the Jawsburg Light Swiss in there, some spinach, cherry tomatoes, and again, good, really quick, easy snack that you can get in all the stuff that you need. So I like that one. My computer here. Gotta love technology. There we go. Uh, thanks for sharing because I shared that. Cinnamon, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah, so in this video, I actually even make them sweet. So I'll take egg whites. Because egg whites take the flavor of anything. So I'll put some blueberries in them, some Splenda, and some cinnamon on top. And I mix them in the, in the, the egg white thing. So good. Again, a sweet treat that's really good, high in protein. Um, basically said that. Uh, Diane said, these are so easy to make. Love it. All right. So my wife chimed in. Come on. My wife chimed in. I didn't even see that she chimed in here. And my wife diets. She's she's pretty good. I, I'll give her some credit where credit's due. She she does good diet wise. She she will not go to the gym. She will not work out. I've tried everything to get her to work out. But anyway, she said, I love Boar's Head Honey Maple Turkey and Jawsburg Light. You can eat them rolled up together for a quick meal or even make egg white omelets, throw both the turkey and the cheese in it, and you can eat it in a sandwich with low calorie bread. 100% we do that all the time in my house. I give that to my kids. So yes, 100%. All right, Noel, also another one of our clients who've had some amazing success with us. Whey protein powder, Chobani, 0% Greek yogurts or Oikos triple zero. I love the Oikos triple zero. I was never really a fan of them, but they are, they're really good. I really like them now. Ham and Jalsburg light roll-ups. Again, the roll-ups seem to be a, a thing of, everybody likes those. So the roll-ups, uh, the one protein bar, scrambled egg whites with ham and fat-free cheddar. Yeah, fat-free cheddar cheese also too. Another clutch thing that you should have in your fridge, especially if you're going to make egg whites, throwing two servings of shredded cheese on your eggs 
adds 14 grams of protein. If it's fat free, it's 14 grams of protein. Um, I think it's minimal amount of carbs. I forget off my head and zero fat. So another huge way to add high protein in there. <clears throat> Faith says grilled and ready Tyson chicken strips are really easy. You can have them with ketchup. I agree with that 100%. I always talk about this. You got to have your staples and just in case foods available. And my just in case foods all the time is those Tyson ready grilled chicken strips. Um, I keep them in the freezer at all times. So if I run out or anything, or if I just feel really lazy, I just take them out of the freezer, throw them in a pan, heat them up and they're good to go. So yeah, I agree with that hundred percent. All right. So Anna says, uh, Costco's Kirkland egg whites, they're in liquid form, so you need to separate the yolk and egg whites and Costco packaged grilled chicken ready to go. Yeah, exactly. It's all about having things prepared and just being prepared. Success is a planned event, guys. None of this is going to happen on accident, so you need to make sure that you're prepared. So hopefully, these high-protein breakfast items will help you get to that next level. So again, if you make sure you hit that like button, it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you're listening to this on a podcast, please make sure you leave me a five-star review. As again, that tells me that I'm doing a good job. Make sure you watch the next couple of videos or listen to the next couple of podcasts. And if you're interested in taking yourself to the next level, head on over to my website, abfitnesstrainer.com and apply for a spot. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one.